In this video, I will tell you how to use Blender's hair system to create something like this. Before starting the video, make sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. You can skip this chapter if you know the basics. This is the latest version that is available. These are the basic controls such as middle mouse button to rotate, shift plus A to add something, and X to delete. And there is an indicator down there for your help. You need to enable images as plane and node wrangler add-on. To do that, go into preferences and in the add-on section, search it and check the box. After that, save it. You can get the starter files from the link in the description. If you want to support the channel, consider buying the project file. Press Shift plus A and type images as planes and select it. Then select the texture image you got from the starter file. Scale it by two and press Ctrl plus A and apply scale. Let's set up the texture. Add a bump node and connect it with the normal node and drag the color to the height node. Select the image texture and press Ctrl plus T. To add hair, search for Disable overlay for better view. Go into the render properties and select strip. Let's half the radius for slim curve. Change the density to something high, but first, let's set up the length. In your asset library, drag the trim to the curves and drag it over the third modifier. Uncheck and make it 0 0.1. Make these factors 0 0.1. Seed makes different variations. Make the density to 100,000. Now copy the materials and paste it in the curves material. Add a principled hair and make the roughness and coat value to one. If you did everything right till now, you will have a realistic hair system. Let's make this side hair thing. I already know the values, so just copy these. First enable this Now apply scale and add fur to it. Rotate it 90 degrees. Play with the settings. These are the one I am going with. Make the material for it. Copy and paste it. Then set the pivot point to cursor. and rotate it 180 degrees. Do the same for upside. Rotate it up to 90. Make sure plane is selected and go into edit mode. Select this edge and move it by pressing G and Y. Make sure this magnet is blue.
move it to the edge and you're done. Copy and paste it, then rotate it 180 degrees. Add lights and camera and render it out. Thanks for watching.